Hey YouTubers, we're going to do a little project today. I'm going to show everybody how to make a pretty simple to make camera mount for your RC car. Um, what you'll need to do is go down to Home Depot or Lowe's or one of your local big box home, uh, home improvement stores and pick up a piece of aluminum bar like this. This is actually, according to the label, this is one sixteenth thick three quarter inch by forty eight inch aluminum stock so this is a forty eight inch bar when you buy it. If you have a hard time finding this in the um, home improvement store just ask a representative and they'll point you in the right direction. Usually they'll have all different kinds of aluminum pieces like this either thicker or smaller but this one is actually hopefully I don't make it too blurry there we'll see. This one is actually short on one side and longer than the other. So it is a piece of angle iron basically made out of aluminum. It's very lightweight. Um, what we're going to do is make it into a bracket like this. It's a very simple bracket. Um, all you have to do is make one cut here and bend it at almost a 90 degree angle. I didn't quite do a 90 degree angle because I want the camera to be away from the car a little bit. Um, and then cut a 45 degree piece out of this part right here so it will bend almost 90 degrees. So what you have here is a nice mount. It's really strong. Um, it'll hold a camera really well. I use a flip video camera. Um, I haven't gone and gotten a GoPro yet, so I'm still using my little HD flip camera. So what I do is drill the hole in the bottom right here. It's always helpful to use a center punch like this to start your hole. And then once you start your, once you center punch it and drill it, then it makes it much much easier to mount your camera uses a small screw like this and I have a little, actually it's a nut and bolt and if you don't exactly sure what size it is you can always take your camera with you and just test it in there. Most cameras have a little tripod mount at the bottom of them so if your camera shoots video you can pretty much make uh, this bracket fit just by any kind of camera. If your camera is wide like this one um, I guess you could actually just add a longer bolt and a couple of nuts to it to space it up away from the mount if you had to, like so. But luckily, my flip video camera, and I'll show it to you in a minute once I get it mounted up. Use my tape measure here. It actually fits right in there like a little cradle. So you can see that it looks kind of crooked because that's actually... I've give it a little tweak and a little bend to get just the right angle you want on your car you can get an adjustable wrench like this and you can just put it onto your piece of metal and give it a little bend tweak it a little bit just to get it the exact angle you want so if once you get it onto your car and you don't like the way it's angled you can just kind of give it a little tweak so actually when this is on the car like so, it's pointing towards the front fender like most onboard cameras do on real cars. So what I did was for this, which is, this is totally optional, you can do, I think you can do it two different ways. Um, I wanted to try to use my body post on my car. So what I did was once I got all of my bins from here the way I wanted them, and of course then this piece is really long so I went ahead and cut it off the width of the car so once you get all of these bands made in here the way you want to then you can kinda take your bar stock and put it down on the car and kinda adjust it the way you want it to I've got mine about a, a little bit more than half an inch maybe on the, off of the car so once again use your center punch um, you can actually mark stuff with your center punch if you want to just take your bar stock and just put it behind your post and just give it a little scratch behind each post and that will tell you the distance between your posts. 
Then you can take your center punch, punch it, drill your holes, and then you'll have a nice fitting mount that you can actually, in this situation, you can mount it up with uh, body pins to hold it in place. And it's really tight and snug. So there you go. It's all mounted up and that's what it looks like. So you can see from the back it's got a little mount going down and out. So you would put your camera in here like so. And I'll, I'll put my flip video on there and show you what it looks like when it's actually on the car. Um, so this bracket is mounted on the car now so you can see it's, it's not really going anywhere. It's pretty pretty strong. So if you don't want to use the body post method of putting it onto the car, which some people may not want to do that just because they want to have options of maybe putting them out somewhere else. So what you could also do is instead of drilling the holes is get some really good double side 3M body molding tape and either stick it to the roof, you can stick it to the trunk, which is another good spot, um, gets the camera down really low to the ground if you do it that way. But I would definitely have something, some kind of a full length uh, double sided tape like body molding tape, something with a little cushion on it to protect your body not scratch your body up. I guess if you wanted to, you could just take a piece of packing tape, put it across your body to protect your finish on your car, and then you can just stick it on there because it's not really going to hurt anything um, once you clean it up and make it really nice. So what I'll do is I'm going to mount this thing up and I'm actually going to put my flip video camera, which is what I'm recording with right now, onto the car and I'll show you what it looks like in a mirror real quick. Alright, here is our flip camera mounted up to our car using the homemade mount. As you can see it looks pretty neat. Nice clean install there. You can also put a little piece of foam tape underneath your camera, between the camera and the mount, to kind of get rid of any play that's in the camera. If you have a little bit of wobble in the camera, it makes it a little tighter. But you can see it's very rigid. doesn't move at all, hardly. It gives you a really cool shot of right over the fender. So you can uh, get all the action of somebody in front of you if you want to. And uh, I think it's not bad for a little camera mount that costs less than $10 to make. Just takes a little bit of time and creativity. So, if you want to, go out there and uh, make yourself a mount and uh, shoot some really cool videos. And I hope you have fun with it. And enjoy my little tips here. Thanks for watching.